In this short video, we'll look at the, the dynamics of a fluid tank with an outlet pipe. So, as opposed to just the fluid tank, uh, we have attached a long pipe uh, to the outside of the orifice and we want to look at the dynamics. Now, this fluid pipe will give inertance and therefore this system is expected to be second order, i.e. Uh, the differential equation will contain the second derivative of the uh, dependent variable. In this the independent variable is wi which is the input uh, uh, or in, inlet uh, mass flow rate. Now remember that you could either write to find the final differential equation in terms of h the column height in the tank or the outflow rate and both these are related i.e. Uh, h affects q and q affects h. You can't uh, independently vary h and q so let's go ahead and look at the how we how we develop the differential equations here so first we write the orifice, orifice equation assuming a laminar flow uh, so q naught which is the flow rate volume flow rate to the orifice is one divided by r rho times delta p to the power one by alpha alpha is one and delta P is the pressure differential which is P1 minus P2 that's what we write here uh, so we can write Q0 is 1 divided by R times rho times PA plus rho GH minus P2 so we have substituted for P1 P1 the pressure here is nothing but the pressure here which is atmospheric which is PA plus pressure due to the fluid column which is rho GH that's right here so we have our equation number one. Now let's look at the tank equation. So rate of change of mass in the tank is given by rho AC times H dot. Uh, H, H dot is the derivative of the height of the fluid column, which is equal to mass inflow rate minus mass outflow rate. Now we can write the mass inflow rate and outflow rate in terms of the volume inflow rate and volume outflow rate like so. Uh, why is this true? Because mass flow rate is equal to volume flow rate times density of the fluid. So we have our equation number two from here, from here, um, which uh, relates the rate of change of uh, uh, the fluid column to the volume inflow rate and volume outflow rate. Then we write the pipe equation. We know that rho L divided by AP times Q not dot outflow rate outflow volume rate is equal to p2 minus p3 p2 is the pressure here p3 is the pressure here now p3 is nothing but atmospheric pressure and that's how we can substitute for p3 in terms of as pa and therefore we have equation number three now we put all these equations together uh, in this exercise size i have chosen to write the equation in terms of uh, q naught so q naught is going to be the dependent variable and of course qi is the independent variable so we need to eliminate h p2 and pa and how do we do that we first eliminate uh, p2 by substituting 3 and 1 here we have p2 we can write p2 as rho l divided by ap times q naught dot plus pa and then take that and substitute in here like that and we simplify PA cancels with this PA, this PA cancels with this PA and then we end up getting this equation. Now look at this equation and this equation. This has an H dot whereas this has an H. So we can take this equation and differentiate with respect to time to get Q naught dot times rho is equal to 1 divided by R times rho G H dot minus rho L divided by AP times Q naught double dot then you find what h dot is from this equation and stick it in right here to this equation um, so I'm trying to find what h dot is from here and then substitute that in 2 to give you this this equation I've just taken a found an expression for h dot from this equation substitute it in here to get this equation this whole thing is uh, so this is the resulting equation and if we cancel out rho, you know, we can cancel out rho from this, you can write the final dynamic equation. This is the input, qi, volume, volume inflow rate, 
and Q0 is the volume outflow rate uh, and the volume outflow rate is the dependent variable. An exercise for uh, uh, to think about is how do you write this equation instead of Q uh, equation in terms of H instead of Q0. That will be interesting problem to work out on your own. That's the end of this. That's the end of this lecture.